All right, what's up everyone? Drew Manning here from Fit to Fast to Fit. Thank you guys for tuning in today. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some top things you can do to strengthen your immune system, which as we all know is super important right now. Uh, before we get started, make sure and like this video and subscribe to the channel if you find this channel valuable to you. Try and produce high quality videos that you can take with you and apply in your life to help you live a healthier, happier lifestyle. So let's get into what things you can do to help strengthen your immune system. First and foremost, it all starts with food. Food is super important because of the uh, phytonutrients, the vitamins and the minerals that come from our food can either help hurt or help strengthen our immune system. You are what you eat. And not only that, you are what you eat ate. Meaning if you're gonna eat food, especially animals, try and get uh, animals that aren't sick or unhealthy uh, try and get you know grass-fed, grass-finished when you can, organic, free-range, <clears throat> you know, no antibiotics, no hormones, because you want to uh, you want healthy food to start with, and that's probably one of the the most important things you do to help strengthen your immune system. Next up, hydration. Water helps to carry oxygen to your body cells, which results in properly functioning systems. It also works in removing toxins from the body. So drinking more of it could help prevent toxins from building up and having a neg negative impact on your immune system. Next thing is sleep. Studies show that people who don't get quality sleep or enough sleep are more likely to get sick after being exposed to certain sicknesses. Lack of sleep can also affect how fast you recover if you do get sick. During sleep, your immune system releases proteins called cytokines, some of which can help promote sleep. Certain cytokines need to increase when you have an infection or inflammation or when you're under stress. And so sleep deprivation may decrease the production of these protective cytokines. The next thing is breathing or meditation. Some studies have found that meditation helps increase the production of cells that fight inflammation. So I know that meditation might not sound like it, can do something for your immune system, but it actually does help with your immune system. The next thing is thinking or positive affirmations. You are what you speak or think about yourself. If you tell yourself you feel crappy all the time, you're more likely to do things that are gonna make you feel crappy. If you tell yourself you feel awesome, you're more likely to make choices that lead to that. The next thing is movement or exercise, right? Cardio, weight training, um, you know, high intensity interval training, yoga, uh, walking, biking, this physical activity may help flush bacteria out of the lungs and airways, which may reduce your chance of getting a cold, a flu, or other illnesses. Exercise also causes change in antibodies and white blood cells. And white blood cells are the body's immune system cells that fight disease. These antibodies or white blood cells circulate more rapidly so that they could detect illnesses earlier than they might have before. However, no one really knows whether these changes can help prevent infections. The brief rise also in body temperature during and right after exercise may prevent certain bacteria from growing. And this temperature rise may help the body fight infection even better. This is similar to what happens when you have a fever, for example. Exercise slows down the release of stress hormones, and some stress increases the chance of illness. Lower stress hormones may protect against illness. The next thing is cold showers, right? Scientific studies have found that taking a cold shower increases the number of white blood cells in your body. And these blood cells protect your body against diseases. Researchers believe that this process is related to an increased metabolic rate, which stimulates the immune response in your body. The next thing is a sauna. The use of an infrared sauna strengthens your immune system by increasing white blood cell production, triggering the immune system, releasing impurities, right? So detoxing your body, uh, improving circulation, regenerating cells and promoting relaxation. The last thing is supplementation. Yes, there are certain supplements you can take that can help boost your immune system. I'm not saying these, these will, but they can. So vitamin D3 plus K2, adding the K2, which is a vitamin, makes the vitamin D3 more bioavailable. So your body actually absorbs more of that vitamin D3, which acts like a hormone in the body and helps to balance those hormones out so that your hormones are functioning properly. Things like krill oil, which are full of omega-3 fatty acids, uh, you know, a very powerful antioxidant called astaxanthin is, is present in krill oil as well. Uh, magnesium and vitamin C supplementation are just a few. I'm not saying these are miracle workers. These are going to cure any, any disease. What I'm saying is that these things, in addition to the other things I mentioned, can also be beneficial for your immune system. 
I remember during my fit to fat to fit journeys, both back in 2011 and in 2020, when I was gaining weight on purpose and eating the unhealthy foods, which affected my sleep, which affected my hormones, which affected my body's uh, ability to fight off diseases, I felt sick a lot more, meaning sore throat, um, you know, a, a runny nose, uh, a cold or flu-like symptoms a lot more when I was living the unhealthy lifestyle, eating the junk food, drinking, you know, the alcohol, not sleeping well throughout the night, not meditating, not exercising versus when I live a healthy lifestyle consistently, you know, maybe I'll get sick once every five years, right? Very rarely does it happen. And so what I'm saying is the more you live a healthy lifestyle, the better your body's ability to fight off, um, you know, illnesses and diseases uh, versus when you're living an unhealthy lifestyle. So if you want better health, these types of tips will definitely help you live a healthier lifestyle. And remember that a healthier you is a happier you. So doing these things will help you feel a lot better in your daily life so that you can show up the best version of yourself. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time.